Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's Dani. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to crochet this beautiful mug rug. It is super simple and quick to make. It is perfect to use up all the yarn that you have at home that you don't know what to do with it, especially if it's cotton. It is great to sell at markets and of course to have them around your house. They're so handy and they look so cute. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already and I also want to remind you that um, you can find the free pattern and the crochet diagram on my blog I'm gonna be linking um, my blog in the description box of this video and before getting into the video I want to give a shout out to my very first cup of coffee donation ever um, when donating Tammy said thank you so much for all your videos you are awesome thank you so much Tammy this means the world to me I'm thrilled and if you guys want to support my channel consider buying me a coffee the link is in the description box of this video now let's get into the tutorial for this project, you're gonna need a 6mm crochet hook, scissors, tapestry needle, and yarn. You can use any cotton yarn that you have around your house. So we're gonna start with the foundation chain and to do this, we're gonna begin with a slip knot and then your chain. So for this mug rag, you're gonna need 17 chains. The dimensions and everything that you need to know, it's going to be on my blog. Now in the second chain from the hook, you're going to insert, pull up a loop and make a single crochet. Then you're going to go into the next chain and single crochet one and then double crochet in the same chain. Now, you're going to skip a chain and do the same thing in the next one. Single crochet one and then double crochet in the same chain. Now, skip one chain and in the next one, single crochet one and then double crochet in the same chain and you're going to do this all the way across your chain until you have two chains left when you have two chains left skip one and single crochet in the last one now instead of chaining one to turn you're going to pull slightly just like this and then turn and continue working. This is gonna make a very nice and straight edge. So now single crochet in the first space available, then single crochet and double crochet in the next stitch available. So right here we're going to single crochet one and then double crochet in the same space now you're going to skip one chain and single crochet and double crochet in the next one then skip one stitch did i say chain <laughs> stitch skip one stitch and single crochet and double crochet in the next one again until you have two stitches left once you have two stitches left, skip one and single crochet in the last one. And you're going to repeat the sequence again. Instead of chaining one and turning, you're going to slightly pull and then turn and continue with the same pattern. Single crochet, then single crochet and double crochet in the next chain, then skip one and so on. And just like that, you uh, have created a little um, rectangle or, you know, a square. We have to do 15 rows. I forgot to mention that. I'm sorry. <laughs> 15 rows um, or until you want. It's totally up to you. 
and now we're gonna make the fringes this is again optional you don't have to it looks super nice how it is but you know I like the little fringes so all we gotta do is cut um, strands of yarn to create the fringes this is also optional you can make them as long or as short as you want so continue doing this and then let's just attach them so to attach them we just pass the loop and then we bring the ends in between and we pull tight to close I'm using three strands of yarn in here per fringe that again is up to you and I am placing them every other stitch so you can place them closer together or further apart however you want however you think it looks best and then all you gotta do is just trim the edges just so your fringes are nice and straight and they are all the same length um, you can use scissors or a rotary cutter if you have one whatever method works best for you and once you are done that's it that's how you can make a beautiful mug rug and honestly they are so handy you can have them all around your house and use them for whatever you want for plants for your mugs or you know anything that you can think of um yeah thank you guys for watching this tutorial and again you have the written pattern plastic crochet diagram on my blog the link is in the description box of this video and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next one bye